Oh my. Okay, so I literally just woke up. Well, anyways. All right, so the other day I went to Hobby Lobby and I found this beautiful painting that was just this organic little vase of flowers. Here's a picture of it, okay? So I went there, I looked around at some stuff. I found this painting. I was gonna pick it up, but every single one that I picked up, there was just a little bit of damage on them and some type of way like one had like a scuff on it one had a scratch one had like at the top of this one if i can zoom in at the very top of the canvas on this one here it has this weird line going across from the canvas being bent over the piece of wood that's in the back i was just kind of getting really frustrated and i didn't want any of them at that point so i figured well let me just paint my own so I got a canvas for $5. It's actually going to be a lot larger than the size that Hobby Lobby has already. So I figured let's go ahead and paint today. And I'm going to do this right behind me on my washer. Okay, this is my little setup. And in case you didn't know, I already have like a painted canvas right above this. It's actually, it just looks like artwork on this wall, but really they're both like doors to hide the stuff that's back there. Anyways, I wanted to show you how I'm going to set up, have this old kind of rug I had from five below. I've been using for different projects. So I kind of have, you know, pieces of it cut off. I'm going to use the back of it as like a painter's drop cloth. Let's get to it. So how I'm going to set this up because I actually don't have a large enough easel to hold one of these canvases. I bought two of them because I'll probably do another project at a later point, but they were only $5 at this discount store. I'm leaving one of the canvases still wrapped in the plastic so I don't ruin it. I'm just going to take my canvas material, this drop cloth, rug, whatever, and I'm going to cover this canvas like that. That will kind of protect my surface, kind of like leaning it up. And then I could just take my other canvas, set it right here in front. So now I can just paint, have it sitting upright, and just go ahead and paint it. If I want to rise it up a little bit, I could probably put a piece of wood or something down at, you know, the bottom right in here. But if I do rise it up, then I kind of risk getting paint onto this if it's like up here when I'm painting. I'm probably just gonna leave it like this. So the first thing I want to do is kind of just determine like the color palette in the picture and I in the background is where I'm gonna start. It looks kind of like a brown burgundy tone and then also this table has like some white, gray, brown kind of tones in there. I also have these but I want to just do the background first and let that dry. So I'm gonna work on painting that. So the first colors I'm probably gonna want to use is a deep brown, maybe some purples, reds, whites. So I'm really glad how these colors worked out and I'm kind of like dipping in when I dip down into this I'll dip more you know into the blue and have a chunk of blue that I can smear back and forth dip more on the red side and have a little bit of red there's a little bit of white or brown I have them mixed together but as I dip I might dip this way then I can add a little bit more of a color in a specific area if I want to. I have the picture pulled up over here. This is a bit more saturated. It's super burgundy, but I really love this color. I think this is so pretty. And it's not just one solid color. As you can see, when you really look in there, 
I've got pieces of like the dark blue popping through here and there, some of the white. It's all blended together to create this beautiful color. And I like the brush strokes, how they're just like random like this. And then remember down here is where that little table is going to be. Really, I wouldn't have to paint all of this because I'm going to be painting it a lighter color. So really, I could bring it down to about where it's at and just kind of create this line. I mean, it's not going to be a big deal. I'm just sketching it out right here. It's not going to be a big deal if I have some of the strokes past this line. And I'm making sure to paint the edges as well. So now that I've got most of my canvas covered, I'm going to go back through and I can kind of see a little bit of areas where the canvas isn't touched because I didn't use any gesso. Usually you'd want to prime your canvas with the gesso, but I'm not doing that in this case. I'm just directly on the canvas. It's honestly not going to be that much much of a difference in the end so right now i'm just going to go back through like this sure i'm really getting the paint in there and if you're not liking any weird brush strokes now is the time to kind of maybe you want to go back and forth like this do a cross hatch i like it more you know very random like this i think it looks better Okay, I think that looks good. So I'm going to let this dry and then we'll come back. Sorry about the furnace, guys. It's just how it is in the winter. So now I'm going to move on to this table that the vase is sitting on because that's kind of what's next to paint. My background is not fully dry, but I figured I could go ahead and move on to this part at least and let this dry. So the colors that I'm seeing in this table is like more of a grayish but I do want to bring some of the wall color down into the table as a little bit of a reflection. So I'm going to be using the same palette I have over here and just add some colors to it. Now I already have some white in there, but I was thinking adding some more of this brown color. Well, actually this is a different brown. It's more of a gray brown color. And then just a little bit of this teal color a little bit of black, a little bit of the yellow, using a different brush. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and start by mixing with the white, the tan color. I do wanna bring in this color a little bit. Some of that yellow. And I'm liking that color. I'm just gonna go ahead and start slapping this on. And we'll just start building this. Now this part, I'm going to have to do very particularly. Now, it's okay to have some of this darkness because it creates like a shadow effect in our original picture. We have, you guys even see that. We have some shadowing like in the back, which I'll add more of that once we get our vase kind of in place. We 
we're just adding those different colors to add like some kind of a reflection of something. Now I have a little bit of greenish, black, yellow, and the sides over here. Again, we're just adding in like reflective elements that will be up in here. So, I mean, I can go back through and add more to it later, but this is just a base color. Just blend these colors together and it looks like a solid table that has like reflective things on it. The background is actually, it's dry to the touch, so I'm excited to move on. So now I'm gonna start with the base somewhere in the middle of the picture and I want it kind of up off the table a little bit. This isn't quite dry, but I figured it should be okay once we start kind of going, the rest of it will dry. And then I can add in my shadows over here if I need to add more darkness on this side or anything like that. So I'm just gonna take this brush I've been using and I'm gonna outline my vase with the brush. And I'm just gonna take a little bit of white, lightly draw it on here. Now I know my vase is probably gonna take up, it's probably gonna come about to here. Like that will be kind of the tip of it. So we'll just go ahead and mark that's where it's going to be. And then about right in there is about where it's gonna sit, I guess, on the table. It's not gonna be centered on the table, but centered in our frame, rather. So I'm just kind of eyeballing this, drawing a line. And it will kind of swoop down this. Sides, it'll kind of round upwards like this and we'll just draw that try to make that as flat as possible on the table there's pretty much our vase we kind of sketched it out to be how we want so now i'm just going to be working on painting in the vase just kind of perfecting it to my liking this can come out just a little bit more right in here i think that looks fairly good it doesn't have to be perfect now the color of the vase it looks more of a muted blue color which is really pretty and I see some yellowy kind of color in there but we want it to be reflective so we will draw some like white piece here as well as the dark we want it lots of dimension and make it look as realistic as possible I'll be adding in my gray brown color I have enough white um I have enough yellow and then maybe a little bit of blue way too much blue this blue just takes over so now we'll just start painting in our vase, like, you know? I told you that blue just takes over, but that's fine. And it's not going to be blue. We're going to be going over it with layers of brown. I'll probably add in like the black on this side and really blend that out. it look more rounded we could draw this forward here draw it up here and down this way I'm gonna try my best 
to get really detailed in the line work here on the side. It's kind of hard just because I'm using this type of brush, but overall I think it is looking pretty good. The shape's a little off. I'm gonna use my other hand and see if I can. It's a little risky doing this because I'm not left-handed. I think it's looking good. I need it to be like rounded. So I think I need to come out a little bit right in there maybe. Okay, I really do think it looks very similar to the inspirational picture. So there's the base. It's not like the best, but you know, whatever. I did a little bit of background shading um, and added some over here just to kind of marry the two. I don't know if I like it or not, but figured, well, whatever. I do want to add a little bit more like kind of brown right here, just in the forefront. <laughs> Moving on, we're gonna be doing the flowers, all kinds of things kind of coming out of this vase. We're gonna be using this little brush, a half inch angle brush. So I'm just gonna dip in there and then I'm gonna be trying to do these like eucalyptus pieces that are in the background. So that's what I'm gonna be working on first. And from the vase, it's just like a circle like this. I want to say this is probably too dark. Maybe adding in some whiter tan. But... There's our rough sketch, you know, the background eucalyptus, that's one piece. I have another piece that's kind of right in here that's popping through. I don't know, like in the line. We don't have to draw every single like stem either because there's going to be so many stems coming up or every single leaf. This is just a background kind of situation. Then I have another one that kind of goes off this way in the background. Okay, so I think that's pretty good for our background pieces. Just a little bit of this color on top of it. I might just like leave it like that. I don't know. I kind of like the dimension of the colors. Um, and we'll be putting more flowers over this anyway. It's not quite the color I was going for, but honestly, it is what it is. I think it looks okay. It does not look bad. I do have other brushes. These smaller ones, I kind of wanted to go in with little detail work whenever I do like stems and things like that. So unfortunately, while I was painting, my camera died. So I charged it up and everything, it's ready to go. I just continued painting, so I'm so sorry, but I'm about to show you guys the painting. As you can see, it is not exactly like the picture, but it is, you know, it's very, very close not the same thing but there were some areas I had some trouble with when I was painting like the flowers and like in here up in here so 
it's kind of a mess, but overall, when you step back and look at it, it's really pretty. I might go in and add a few more pieces. I don't know. Painting flowers is not that hard. I just basically kind of zoomed in. Was like, okay, so I see some like pinks and browns, that type of tone, maybe some white. So I would just take whatever color and just, you know, blop it on with my brush. Then draw the stem so they connect. Now, my stems are very thick. This looks kind of bad. <laughs> but, as, like, that's what I mean. You don't have to be a pro. Just draw the stems with some blotchy colors mixed together, and it just creates you step back it creates this illusion of floral floral pieces I think it turned out pretty good I'm loving the background you can see some of these brush strokes going on it doesn't look like a solid color and I do like this color that like pops through a little bit I think that's really fun and unique it really goes well with the background color and this pop of like yellow I'm just loving it overall. When, again, when you step back, when you're up close, it's kind of ugh. When you step back, it's so pretty. Just do not get over how pretty it is. So I'll probably go ahead and sign my name in the corner, even though it's like a replica piece. But this is my inspiration. I can still sign my piece because I painted this. You know what I mean? All right. So that was super fun. I'm sorry I didn't like show everything, but this video was long enough as it is. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.